हेलो चिल्ड्रन गुड मॉर्निंग दिस वीडियो फॉर क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट ग्रामर यूनिट वन रिविजन यूनिट चिल्ड्रन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सम पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच अबाउट नाउन नाउन फ्रेज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एज वेल एज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द प्रोनाउंस ऑल्सो एंड द काइंड ऑफ प्रोनाउंस ऑल्सो देन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट बर्ब एंड the kind as well as we have learned about the adjectives also and then we have learned about the degree of comparison too uh so children today in this video we'll start from the page number 17 the adverb okay children together we we'll get going grammar book page number 17 the adverb an adverb is a word that add the meaning of verb as well as adjective as well as another adverb in the sentence so what is the function of adverb adverb add the meaning of verb in the sentence adjective available in the sentence and adverb another adverb okay so these are the three function and it tells how the thing is done when it is done and where it is done so here one example is given see that see dress up carefully so we can ask the adverb of manner how the dress up the uh, dress up karne ki jo kriya hai wo kaise hui hai so it is done carefully so carefully is an adverb here so it is how when we ask that how it is done okay so it is done very carefully so carefully is an adverb second sentence see here the child died on the spot the action where it is taken place okay so what place we can find over here the action of child died on the spot okay then the police look for the terrorist everywhere where the police look for uh, the terrorist it is said here everywhere okay Four sentences. He reported for duty immediately. So we can ask the time when. Okay, uh, at what time means when it happened. So he reported for duty immediately. So answer what time. So time we can get immediately. So immediately is an adverb here. There are four kinds of adverbs are given here. Adverb of manner means how it is done. Adverb of time when it happens. and adverb of place where it is done the particular and adverb of degree means the extent of the work means here the coffee is quite hot coffee is hot okay so coffee uh, how much is hot is quite hot okay so the extent of hotness is given here through the word quite so quite is an adverb of degree Okay. Okay. Here we can see that adverb is placed before finite verb, and sometimes it is placed after finite verb also. See that in the first example, he always speak the truth. Okay. And in the second, he speaks effectively. Okay. So after finite verb, and he always always is an adverb here in the first sentence. and in the b we can see that he speaks effectively so effectively also an adverb and here in upper uh, he always speak the truth so always is a adverb of frequency okay understood uh, now we'll go to the next page children here on the page number 18 The exercise is given. Exercise number thirteen will complete the first sentence. The rest you have to do. Then later I will give you a notes. In this notes you will check your answer also. He is an extremely intelligent police officer. Here we can see that he is a subject. He is an extremely intelligent police officer. So here extremely is an adverb and it describe the intelligent. Okay, describe the. adjective here so 
so here our adverb is functioning as a we are adding the meaning of adjective so what kind of uh, adjective is here degree so that extent intelligent and how much it is intelligent that extremely intelligent okay and intelligent word which is modified okay by the word extremely uh then here children exercise number 14 is given that you have to do by your own self at home uh, the rest uh, notes will be given to you all then we have here very important the preposition okay so preposition is very important in the grammar a uh, preposition is a word that shows a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and some other words acting as a noun in a sentence for example see that here the book is on the table so here on is a preposition the word on is a preposition and it shows the relationship uh, between the book and table okay so there are uh, many kinds of uh, prepositions prepositions are here the first preposition of place we are using at in on and this preposition answer question where okay so here first example he met uh, me at the ajmeri gate where we are using at is used to refer a particular spot in a large area okay so ajmeri gate is a particular spot okay in a large area this is the large area particular spot ajmeri gate so where at the ajmeri gate so at we are using to refer to particular spot at we are also use uh, using to refer to particular place uh, at pratap ganj in the east delhi all close relatives now stay at pratap ganj in the east delhi okay so it is particular place uh, we are also using at Uh, to refer an exact place, the marriage process uh, procession will be uh, reassemble at the church at sector two, R K Puram means exactly place, exact place. Okay. Uh, we use at to refer the time also. He uh, her flight from Moscow landed at five in the morning. So time five in the morning is. Uh, exactly given here by using preposition at okay now we'll go to the next page number 19 here on page number 19 at can be used to mean near or beside means something which is near or something which is beside see that here example is given all the member of the family were sitting at the dining table means near the dining table when i entered the house so here at we use for the uh, near and beside also it is used uh, with the names of building shop school and teachers here the three examples are given let's meet at 5 in the afternoon at the gateway of india they are now staying at the kamat hotel and look at the post office carefully okay now we'll see here in where we are using in we use in when do not say where a person or thing is within a particular area uh, for example in the market but not exactly area okay he is in the market in the garden he is in the garden but where exactly the exact place is not given in the biggest areas some anywhere okay so in the market anywhere in the garden anywhere in the village anywhere in the room anywhere so we also use in to refer the big cities or country in india okay in india means where exactly place not given for the entire india in mumbai i am working in delhi but not given here exact place okay so there we are using in on we are using to on sunday on the floor on dais on the sea shore on the first or second third floor on the farm on the train on top of uh, she spoke on value education okay uh, next preposition of location and direction that we are using in at to towards into outside away from off near far off beside before opposite facing under over behind in front of 
up and down okay so these are all preposition we are using for the location and direction see that here in we are using don't worry her newly purchased sari is not lost it is in the cupboard it is in the cupboard somewhere in the cupboard okay to convey the meaning of stain whenever you want you can call me i am always in the house okay then at we are using look at the direction board for the wedding so here we can see that direction we can give uh, two we are using to show the direction we stop for lunch uh, sorry we stop for lunch at chital restaurant uh, on our way to masuri so it is given here direction then we are using into get into ta taxi quickly we are leaving right now okay so here for the location and for the direction we are using this all the uh, preposition there are more prepositions are given on page number 20 now we'll turn the page number 20 children here there are more prepositions are given on page number 20 outside outside we leave outside direction okay location the municipal limit of gurgaon the location we can give here uh, then more uh, we can see that here away from or away of okay this preposition refer to point and moment either towards into uh, sorry it or from it see that here in the example you can fly from okay so point we are pointing out or moment new delhi to bangalore in less than 3 hours then in the second uh, we can see that here off keep off the glass goods okay then here we have another preposition under and over over means above our head okay no one can really work when uh, democles sword is hanging over one's head okay so that something is hanging over our head okay uh, i'm sitting on uh, uh, the fan is over the head i can see here okay if you are sitting uh, under the fan uh, so we can you can see that the fan is over the head aapka jo fan hai wo aapke head ke upar hai which is covered then here uh, it is also means on top of okay during the rainy season jamuna water runs over the bridge under indicates the position of over okay ab over ka position kya hoga under jaise maine use kiya tha i said under okay and the fan is over the head during lunch our the factory worker rest under the tree okay then we have behind and in front of these are used to refer the location position or position of three dimensional object okay see that here the scooter is parked behind the sports room okay it give the exact place location the car is parked in front of the bus okay it is also give the location beside it refers to position which means by means uske baju mein hota hai by or at side of okay by the way who is sitting beside your wife means exact baju mein kaun baitha hai behind jo hai piche kaun hai theek hai front yani ki aage kaun hai beside yani ki aapke baju mein kaun hai the telephone is beside her study table okay aapke aaju baju mein jo cheez hai uske liye hum kya use karenge beside use karenge opposite and facing see that it is preposition refer to things which are on opposite sides okay that is beautiful mall opposite my office okay we can see that in front of my office also uh, the house facing the park in mine we can say here in front of also but uh, if you want to say that unka face or hamara face samne samne hai so we can see that the house facing the park is mine okay then here across and just across okay here it is used to convey the meaning of on opposite side from where you are exactly 
our new class teacher leaves across the road वो भी सामने इन फ्रंट ऑफ बताता है लोकेशन बताता है अप एंड डाउन हीयर अप इज़ यूज टू पॉइंटिंग मूविंग और लुकिंग अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल हीयर हंड्रेड ऑफ पीपल क्लाइंब अप ओके हम पॉइंट आउट करते हैं द बाउंड्री वॉल टू गेट अ बेटर लुक ऑफ फिल्म्स एक्ट्रेस ओके सो हम उस तरफ पॉइंट आउट करते हैं द बाउंड्री वॉल टू गेट बेटर बेटर ओके Now we'll go to the next page, page number twenty-one. Here on page number twenty-one, one more uh, preposition is given. Down, down is used to refer to a situation which is the opposite of up. Okay, the children got down the tree immediately when the gardener shouted at him. Means पीछे आना, backward हो जाना, ठीक है? और अब जो है वो आगे जाना या ऊपर चढ़ना होता है हियर सम एक्सरसाइज आर गिवन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 15, 16 एंड 17। विल डू अ वन और टू एग्जांपल ऑफ ईच एंड देन आई एल गिव यू द रेस फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस देन आई एल गिव यू नोट्स एंड फ्रॉम द नोट्स यू विल करेक्ट योर आंसर ओके स्टैंडिंग डाइस द डाइस सो ही इज स्टैंडिंग एट द डाइस एग्जैक्टली प्लेस वी कैन गिव स्टैंडिंग एट द डाइस द प्रिंसिपल सर्वेज द एंटायर स्कूल विथ हीज पेनेटेटिंग पेनेटेटिंग आईज ओके हाउ सी दैट हियर द एग्जैक्ट प्लेस फ्रॉम वेर प्रिंसिपल इज सर्वेइंग एट द डाइस फ्रॉम द डाइस ओके एंड दैन Uh, she is surveying uh, the entire school with his penetrating eyes. The second sentence: As he is in the meeting, he cannot come out. Okay, he is in the meeting. Okay. Exercise number sixteen: When I saw crossing over the Yamuna Bridge on foot early in the morning. I saw a motor boat coming speedily towards the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, in the exercise number seventeen, first, who are you waiting for, and what are you looking for so attentively? Okay. The rest exercise try to do by your own self. Uh, here we have. Articles and determiners. Determiners are used before a noun to determine its character, how definite or general that noun is, and whether it is singular or plural. The article a and d are the most common determiners. Okay, so we'll see here articles in the page number twenty-two. So turn your page number twenty-two. Okay, children. On page number twenty-two, uh, the detail is given about the indefinite articles and definite articles. Indefinite articles are two a and n. A we are using uh, with the words begin with the consonant sound, and n we are using with the word which is singular and begin with the vowel sound. See that here example a pen. Pen, p sound is there. Okay, so consonant sound with the consonant sound we are using indefinite article a book. B sound is there. Okay, so it is also consonant sound. So we use a. Then here example of given n r. Okay, h o u r n r. What is the pronunciation of this word h o u r n r? Okay, the sound begin with the a sound r n r. So we have used here n. Uh, then n m a m a. A sound is okay. Beginning we are using m a and m a degree. It is one kind of degree. So m a a a sound is in the beginning. So the sound is vowel here, and that's why we have used here article n. Umbrella a sound is there. Okay, so article n we have used here. Orange. So orange O sound is there. So article N, and when uh, we are using definite article the when we are 
referring to the things that already known and definite and require no further introduction okay see that i'll give you one example here we have bought a flat in prince apartment okay a flat is given here humne ek flat kharida kaun sa wo yahan pe nahi hai lekin the second sentence see that here the flat is superb now which flat is superb the flat which we have bought in the prince apartment so in the second sentence flat ke aage humne article kaun sa lagaya the lagaya means wo ho gaya definite okay ये अपार्टमेंट जो है जिसमें हमने फ्लैट खरीदा है उसी की बात हो रही है इसलिए यहाँ पे डेफिनेट आर्टिकल द हो गया ठीक है सी डेट इन द सेकेंड सेंटेंस लुक देर इज अ टैक्सी ओवर देर वहाँ पे कोई एक टैक्सी है देर इज अ टैक्सी ओवर देर ओके वी डोंट नो विच टैक्सी वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट डेफिनेट सो हियर इन डेफिनेट आर्टिकल हमने अ यूज किया टैक्सी ट से स्टार्ट होता है Then the next sentence is देखो the taxi is coming to this side. हमने यहाँ पर ड लगाया वी हैव यूज यर आर्टिकल ड ओके वाई बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर टैक्सी विच कमिंग टू दिस साइड ओके वो साइड पर जो जा रही है वही टैक्सी के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं सो दिट इज डेफिनेट आर्टिकल ओके देन वी आर यूजिंग अदर डिटर्मिनर्स लाइक सम एंड एनी ओके सम एंड एनी आर यूज विद प्लूरल uncountable noun some is used in the affirmative sentence uh, means a positive sentence which are not negative whereas any is used to refer to a negative meaning or also to express the doubt also is there any milk in the bottle so here exp exp expressing doubts then see that here there are some su uh, suggestions for the committee the affirmative sentence so we have used here some then you can't find any mistake you can't find any mistake can't yani ki wo negative ho gaya then here given some special uses of article we used the before the noun that is unique okay the sun the moon and the sky these are the unique Uh, to refer to ocean and river, we use article the, the Atlantic, the ocean, the Ganga, the Jamuna, the Yogodavari. Okay. Uh, to refer to mountain ranges and the island, also we are using the Himalaya, the Aravalli, and the Andaman and Nicobar Island. Okay. When an adjective is used as a noun, the rich, the poor, okay, the needy, the blurred, we are using as an adjective. Okay. and at the time we are using the before comparative and superlative degree of the adjective the best the most okay this is the superlative degree the higher the cooler is a comparative degree okay when we use noun for a special purpose he went to court to meet his friend i went to school to meet my son class teacher okay so So when we use noun for the special purpose, at that time also we are using the court to meet his friend. Okay. Uh, when uh, we use an ordinal number also, uh, like at the first, the second, okay, the last. So there also we are using article the. Okay. Uh, there are some exercises given on page number twenty third regarding uh, article. Okay. So in the next video, I'll give you one or two example as well as uh, you have to complete the rest exercise till exercise number seventeen. You have to write in your notebook. Okay, I'll give you notes and from that notes you have to correct your answers. Okay, bye children. Take care. Stay home. Okay, stay safe.